2nd of May 2014, 11am. Okay, this dog had a perineal hernia, a big one on the left side, and uh, it was operated on by Dr. Daniel seven days ago. Now, as in all operations, there, there, sometimes there are complications, and as you can see, today is the seventh day. There is some, uh, I would say, some bleeding underneath, and uh, there's a stitch breakdown, as you can see. So, this is part of the complications of surgery. Not all surgeries end up very uh, perfect, as a uh, Sometimes it's the dog who's trying to to lick the area, and also in this dog I notice, as you can see, although the owner says that there is nothing wrong, but you can see this dog has a severe ear infection, otitis externa. This was not treated, and so as you can see, when the dog first came in, it was uh, just black, and there was no inflammation, but uh, now. There is inflammation, and the dog will probably use his leg to to try and scratch the ears. So putting tension on this uh, wound. Then uh, you can see the other ear as well. You can see that this dog is moving. You can see uh, you can see the dog. Uh, the, the leg, you see. So so this shows that the dog has a severe ear infection, and. Uh, and that will explain why the stitch breaks now. Now, we look at this side, uh, we look at this the other side now. The other side, what, the hernia was smaller, and so the stitching, stitching is of course a smaller opening will do because it will be about one fifth the size of the other the left side. So the wound is healing very well, as you can see, and uh, there's no uh, bleeding. Now, this dog also has the same problem with the ears. As you can see, it's a very bad inflammation of the ear. Now, when the owner came, this ear was not inflamed, but it was black. And I did explain in the video earlier on that uh, this is a severe case of otitis externa. Now, I, I presume the owner has used ear drops or what medication under the ear. And so now, because the dog's ears are not treated, since he came in for, for the hernia and he was hospitalized for seven days today is the seventh day and uh, and on the seventh day, sixth day you can see that uh, there's a wound or the stitch breakdown on the left side now the stitch breakdown the vet will have to clear the bleeding wash the area and uh, and uh, restitch. As I said, this is part of the of the complication of surgery. So many things can affect the healing, especially the dog. The dog has been uh, scratching and then causing tension on this area. Now, in uh, in the stitching of a perineal hernia, especially big ones like this, my preferred method of treatment is is uh, to do the horizontal mattress because the horizontal mattress has more holding power but uh, each vet has its own uh, own preferences in this case Dr. Daniel has done I would say simple interrupted uh, normally simple interrupted should be okay if, the, if, the, if there is no tension you can see that it heals quite well now in, in uh, in high tension areas, especially like this, normally I would advise horizontal mattress. Horizontal mattress means you, the needle goes in here, it come here and come out again. So the knot will be here, the knot. It's called horizontal mattress. The other one which has stronger holding power is vertical mattress. Vertical mattress, the knot goes in here and comes back to the same area, come out here and the knot is here. This is a vertical mattress. Horizontal mattress is I explain again, how is the mattress, the needle goes in here and cut, go across and then come out here and the stitch is here. So the difference between horizontal mattress and the vertical mattress is that the vertical mattress, it comes back to the same area again. 
vertically, that means the stitch goes vertically and comes out on the same area. Horizontal mattress it goes in and goes across about maybe uh, 8 mm and come out. Now these two mattress switches have higher holding power than, uh, than a simple, this is a simple interrupted switcher. Simple interrupted switcher, wherever there's no tension it's okay, but when there's tension, this is where you get the the breakdown, but uh, in this dog, the breakdown is due to the dog's leg and the ears are scratching. So now we will have to treat the ears as well. We give the dog a bath and treat the ears. Okay, thanks.